How are you? Okay, that's absolutely great to know that you are doing great. Uh, I also feel great and very happy to be here and share a few things that I've learned. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I am Sunita Rai. I am a WordPress content marketer. Uh, and the topic of my presentation is how success gaps help you build a robust content strategy. Uh, so the, uh, let's start. All right, so first of all, here is the outline of my presentation. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to mainly talk about four points uh, and yeah, it will be brief. So let's start with what is content strategy. So content strategy is basically a plan, a plan that connects your content with your business goals. Now, uh, suppose you have a business or you are doing marketing for a business, whatever the case is, your business always has goals, right? So to achieve that goals, you need uh, some marketing uh, or you need a solid marketing. So uh, if you choose content marketing as your technique for achieving those goals, so content strategy is that complete plan, a comprehensive plan that uh, directs your content, overall content marketing. Uh, so a uh, content, mar uh, content marketing strategy basically has three elements. Uh, and the uh, first one is audience. Your audience, they are a group of people who have a problem and they are looking for a solution to their problem. And next comes your product. Now that you identified that the problem exists and you uh, have created a solution to that problem, that is your product. And then comes the content. Your product, you simply creating a pro uh, product uh, does not guarantee that the right audience will know about that, right? So to let people know that the pro uh, product exists and your product solves that problem, you need content. So that is content. So content strategy basically revolves around these three main elements. Uh, so basically, uh, a content marketing strategy uh, informs who are you creating the content for? What is your content about? Why are you creating the content? How, where, and when? Uh, all right, so uh, it seems that content marketing strategy is really important if you really want to uh, do, uh, you really want to succeed with content marketing, but how to create a winning uh, content marketing strategy that actually works? How to do that? So this one's really important question. So uh, you may have uh, seen people saying that I have built a blog, but I really don't know what to write. Where does the idea come from? So that is actually where success gap comes. So success gap is uh, really important. So let's see what it is. Uh, any guesses, what do you think success gap is? Would you like to guess? Okay. Uh, so I'll just go. So what is success gap? Uh, success gap is the gap before customer success. So in the term success gap, uh, you don't see customer, but this one is the main hidden agenda. See there, uh, what I'm trying to say is that when you have a product, that product is really great, and you have uh, your business goals to um, grow your uh, business, uh, expand your business, earn more revenue, uh, sell more of your products, right? To achieve that, first of all, what you should do is that you should make your customers successful in relation to your product. Uh, here I would like to uh, share uh, an illustration, and with that you see, um, they're a person who looks uh, quite confused and worried, right? That's your customer. Uh, suppose they found your product from somewhere and uh, now they are, uh, they purchase your product, but they may be uh, thinking, what, to, what should I do next, right? Or how should I, how can I use the product? Or they may be in, uh, they may be in confusion. Will the problem actually solve my, uh, pro uh, sorry, will the product uh, actually solve my problem. Uh, they may be skeptical about that as well, right? So that's your customer. And on the uh, 
a left side, you can see uh, an, an illustration with a golden uh, flag, that's victory flag, and there you see the steps, right? So those are the steps that your customer must take to be successful. So that is actually where you as a product uh, vendor must address. So those are the steps you have to help your customers to pass through. Uh, now let's see a more specific definition. This one is from Lincoln Murphy of 16 Ventures, uh, who is a customer support, uh, sorry, customer success expert. According to him, it is the gap that exists between your customers functionally completing the tasks necessary in your product to be successful from your point of view and your customers actually achieving their desired outcome. So what does it mean is that your customers may have found your product interesting, they may have purchased the product, and they may have also completed the steps that they need to take, but still they fail. But still they cannot achieve their desired outcome. What goes wrong? That is your success gap as a business. Uh, now let's see it. Uh, let's um, see it with an example. Uh, so, uh, since most of the Nepali WordPress companies still have uh, WordPress uh, theme uh, as a, f a form of product uh, in most uh, WordPress theme companies' case, so I'd like to take an example of a WordPress portfolio theme. So, uh, you you have built a very uh, brilliant WordPress portfolio theme, and uh, what you do. <laughs> is that, uh, okay, so somebody found your product uh, and they also uh, found it interesting, they got attracted, they bought the product. And uh, so for example, in their case, what their desired outcome may be. Maybe they want to build a really attractive portfolio site. Uh, with that portfolio site, they may want to attract uh, their uh, prospective clients or they may uh, want to attract their prospective employers, or they may want to um, uh, get uh, some attention for their next project, right? So that's their desired outcome. Uh, now, somebody found the product, they purchased the product, and they uh, installed the uh, theme, and they also customized the theme and their website's life. Now, they uh, share the uh, website with their friends or uh, whoever their prospective audience is, but what happens is that they get very negative uh, feedback or they do not get the attention they really were intending to get. Their uh, desired outcome is not achieved. What went wrong? That's where the success gap is. So in this case, uh, many things could have gone wrong, right? Uh, maybe they messed up with the color combination. Everybody does not have that design sense that they can combine the uh, proper set of colors, right? Uh, or uh, it may be their website is super slow that it takes hours and hours to load the website. Or it may be that their website has some uh, uh, some pages, but they are not functional at all. So there may be very uh, many cases. So those cases are, are what you have to address. All right, so I would like to now explain it more with the help of its types. By explaining its types, so it's very simple. There are just two types of success gap, internal success gap, external success gap. So when you talk about internal success gap, it is all about your product, only about your product. So it is the gap between what your product does versus what your customer thinks your product should do to become successful. So here you see, your product actually solves the problem that your customers or your target audience have, right? But still they think otherwise. Your product does exactly what they want, but still they think that it should do something else. Why? It is because they do not properly understand your product. It is because they do not know all the features that your product has, right? So he, see, Success gap, this is internal success gap. So how can you close that internal success gap? By creating content about your product, by simplifying all those features that your product has in very simple or beginner-friendly manner. 
Now let's go about uh, external success gap. So external success gap is the gap between what your product does versus what are the things your uh, customers need to become successful. So uh, I was giving an example of WordPress portfolio theme. With just a WordPress portfolio theme, can a website be live? I would like to hear the answers. With just a WordPress theme, can you really make a website live? You just have one WordPress theme and nothing else. No, definitely not, right? You need many other uh, things with your WordPress portfolio theme. So, uh, for example, let's start with the basic setup. You need a hosting account, uh, you need a domain name, uh, and WordPress uh, installation, and only then comes the theme, right? And then after also, uh, they need additional uh, plugins for their uh, website to be uh, functional, right? All those factors, maybe are going wrong, right? So in the example I gave before, maybe the website is super slow. That may be because they used free hosting or cheap hosting. Now, how can you help them? You can help them by recommending the right hosting platform. Or you can, uh, uh, or in case of plugins, you can uh, help by creating smooth integrations with other, uh, other products that are related to your product. So that is external success gap. Okay, so why should you care about success gaps? I'd like to uh, share this in a few points. So first one is definitely directs your content marketing strategy. So uh, if you're planning to do content marketing, this one's really important because if you just know writing a single article, that won't take you anywhere. That will not take you anywhere because you will stop having getting ideas on what to write or what kind of content should I create. So success gap is where ideas come from. Success gap is what directs your content marketing strategy. Uh, if you do not have the idea of content uh, success gap, what happens is that uh, you may be simply guessing or you may be copying the strategies of your competitors. That won't take you anywhere. That will uh, help you to a level, but that won't take you to the goal that you really have. Uh, next is, it provides you with new product ideas. So as I mentioned before, when you know about, uh, when you think about uh, success gap or when you identify success gap, you really know where your customers are stuck or what they are struggling with. Means that you may find, you may have, you may find get uh, ideas. Now I can create some other related product that really helps solves this another problem that's related to my first product, right? So this way you also get new product ideas. Or um, if such kind of products already available on the market, maybe you can do, uh, you can create a integration, an integration for your product and that product. Or uh, you may also want to collaborate with such companies. Uh, next is, it beats the competition, it goes without saying. So if you are offering a, a product, means somebody else, company B is also doing the same, right? Now there are two or multiple products. Which product will your audience use? Definitely the one that provides the best user experience. How do you provide the best user experience that comes when you really help them succeed? So how can you uh, help them succeed? You can help them succeed only when you really identify what they are struggling with. Okay, uh, yeah, and one, once uh, when you provide them good use experience, they'll, uh, they are going to recommend the product to their friends, they are going to come back, they are going to renew uh, their service with you, and uh, they are also going to provide you positive reviews, which will bring you uh, more customers, and then comes the next point, that will help you build a sustainable business. This is something related to uh, fitness activities. <laughs> Since I've tried and failed uh, a few times, uh, I think this one's very uh, relevant. Um, if you, if you uh, take some fitness activity and you do it for some time and then you get fit and you stop doing that and what happens is that you again lose all the um, fitness that you gained and you again get fat. So yeah. This is something like a fitness activity that you have to keep improving. And to improve, you have to keep exploring the success gaps. 
All right. Now I come to the last point of my presentation. So, so how you see this uh, success gap is really important to identify, but how can you do so? How to identify success gaps and build a robust content strategy? So first of all, you have to listen to what your customers are saying or what they are asking. You may have different support channels uh, like uh, email support or live chat or uh, forums or uh, on social media. So on these different channels, your customers uh, may be asking you questions. They may have, they may be sharing you problems, their problems, where they are stuck, what problem they have, right? So you have to take a note of them. Take a note of them, do further research, categorize them, and then prioritize them. And then start working on them. Also, you may run online surveys and ask your customers what problems they are facing and how you can help. Next is uh, you can do keyword research starting with seed keywords. So seed keywords uh, are very short um, keywords containing one to three words. One, two, three words. So uh, these keywords, uh, as the name seed has, provide you with hundreds and thousands of other key keywords. Uh, something like a seed that provides a plant, that plant provides you with thousands of other seeds, something similar. So if your product is very popular, uh, your product's name can be the seed keyword. For example, contact form seven, which is very popular, right? So you can simply search uh, on Google and Google will recommend you with other expanded key phrases uh, seed, uh, uh, that start from, originate from, uh, the seed keyword contact form seven. So for example, you can see contact form seven placeholder documentation, so and so. Uh, next is you can use uh, keyword research tools like SEMrush. This one is my favorite. So for example, I searched uh, uh, WordPress theme and as you can see, uh, seed keywords are generally high difficulty key phrases. Uh, they have a large global volume. Oh, 99,000 plus people are searching this keyword every month which is very huge. Um, and you can see at the bottom, there are 150,000 plus uh, keywords that originate from this seed keyword. Uh, and then next is researching your competitors. If your competitor provides the exact same uh, solution, means they have done uh, their part of research. They have also um, done their part of marketing. So you can uh, uh, research their most popular products. They can, you can research their most popular keywords, what keywords they are focusing on, what kind of content they are creating. If you look at that, you'll get idea on what kind of uh, problems you also might want to address. Uh, also, you can compare your product with uh, your competitor's product side by side. Uh, and you can use tools like content gap and keyword gap. So for example, uh, this one is keyword gap. Uh, again, a screenshot from Samras. You can simply enter your domain name and then your competitor's domain name. And it will provide you with all the keywords that your competitor is ranking, but your website is not. So it means there is the gap you see. It means that maybe those are the things you may also want to uh, focus and you may also want to create content about. Uh, and then finally, we come to uh, content goals. So uh, content goals is the major part of your content strategy. Uh, since I have uh, discussed content strategy at the beginning, now I would like to share a few things about uh, that. So in that uh, illustration, you can see the graph um, uh, that one is uh, of marketing funnel, top of the funnel, the top uh, of the funnel, the blue um, part that is top of the funnel. And uh, at first, you would, you may want to aware people, let them know, educate that your product exists and your product solves their problem. Just letting them know. Next, to evaluate means capture their attention, make arouse interest in them attract them and finally convert. They were your target audience now to make them your customers. So <laughs> goals are generally, uh, uh, mostly general, um, uh, general ideas, right? So you may want to measure that. 
So to measure, you can uh, <coughs> use performance indicators like number of page views, engagement uh, for awareness, and for evaluation, you can uh, check the number of email signups, free trial version in defined time, and for con conversion, you can definitely <coughs> Uh, check the number of sales and yeah at last you have to create amazing content you have to do thorough research and write amazing content uh, so that's all thank you so much for being here and listening very authentically thank you